Hello everyone, Tyler from Fun here, and I want to take a moment to talk to you about the multitude of posts that we've been seeing from teams, requests that we've received in regards to COVID-19 and what teams are doing to try to help their community and the world. First, I want to state that no team should feel social pressures or obligations to create anything and need to post about it as a team. This is not the time to flaunt or to worry about chairmen or to put up a big sign that says, look at my team and look at what we're doing. This is a time to be safe and to help others do so, so we can slow the spread and flatten the curve. This is not saying that teams who have the resources to help in a safe manner should not do so, but please take into consideration the following. Is what you are doing or trying to create fulfilling the need identified by your community? Have you reached out or listened to what hospitals, first responders, and more are actually requesting? At this juncture, while innovation is important, we need to make sure that we are tactful in the information that you post to your social media groups and pages, especially as a team. Here are some suggestions on how you can help with your team. Help discuss the use of personal protective equipment. List credible sources like the CDC and WHO when you post on social media so other people who are reading your content know that it's credible. Know what is certified and uncertified. Face shields may help provide benefit to those who have identified the need, but many face masks are uncertified, and the effectiveness of uncertified masks is currently still being debated in the medical community as of this recording. Stay away from the creation of homemade sophisticated equipment like ventilators. There are projects that are in or are clearly nearing government review, which do merit some recognition. Good examples of these are MIT's Event and the AmboVent. The Anvil event can even involve first teams by helping out with prototyping by going ahead and clicking on that link below. Look for other needs that may not be robotics related. Yes, if you have the ability for identified needs as a team, by all means, see where you can help out. But let's get back to some of the basics. Bringing somebody coffee, catering lunch to a unit, leaving out snacks or water for delivery drivers and mail carriers where appropriate. And well, hey, cops still like donuts, right? There is no question of the desire and drive for the first community to help out, but it's time that we start thinking outside of the first box and bubble as well. We're all passionate, but we need to think outside of what our team currently is right now and just think about what you can do as an individual to help impact your community. Look, we all want this to end as quickly and safely as possible. As first teams, you are all capable of doing incredible things, but please, let's focus on what's effective, impactful, and most of all, focus on the safety of yourself and others around you. So be safe, practice social distancing, and we'll get back to the robots as soon as we can. Thank you.